Hey guys, it's Emily Waffles Yay for another Make Your Pen Fun video, and this time we got... Redbeard! How's it going, gang? Yee! Alright, so today <laughs> we are going to have some fun with the RC car, and ever since it came out, I've just loved it. I had this idea of making a racetrack for it, because I've always just drove it around, but what if we made this cool little obstacle course, and Redbeards give us yeah. circuits, so... And I'm not, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm awful. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you could probably do some cool fancy stuff with that so yeah, yeah sounds like fun yeah i'm excited this is gonna be fun yeah all right let's go okay so here we are in another place that i made that looks just like all the other places that i've made but this is gonna <laughs> have an awesome track for it so um we can just basically use like any shapes or like any props like in any way so um i'm cool. excited i just I don't know. Let's just maybe start with getting an RC car out. <laughs> Whoa. Oh gosh, these are bigger than I remember. <laughs> you can almost stand on it. Okay. So let's do, uh, I'm going to do a little wall so they don't drive off the edge. Oh, good idea. <laughs> That's um, to start. Yeah. And then we should uh, come up with like some sort of path to, for the track. Alrighty. Well, the easy one would be concrete, but what fun is that? Exactly. What if we just go totally rec room and make it orange? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Let's do that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> <That's okay. laughs> there we go. Oh, we got a wall. I'm making yeah. uh, this like finish line thing. I'm going to add some terrain so they have stuff to drive over. All right. Wow. Oh, wow, there goes the car. <laughs> oh, it's back. This is really cool. It's like a ramp. This is awesome. I kind of want to try it. Let's see. Oh. Oh, it worked. <laughs> I teleported, but you know what? <laughs> Still, that that's that's awesome. Here, just for like style points, I'm going to make this like lava. <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> Got to jump the lava pit. I was thinking the beginning and end should be right here. You know, they, they start here and do the course and then they end crossing in front of them. Yep, there we go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use tubes for the first time. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is like a map of like how it's gonna be. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, that's good. This will be lava and I'm gonna have it kind of splash out and knock the car out of the track. Oh, that's yeah, a good so idea. Yeah, so it'll go... Yeah. Oh, cool. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, can you show me how, to, how you're going to do that? So I'm going to use a rotator gizmo, that up there, and then we're going to use a state machine. You need a state, and then you need another state. Oh, I'm sorry, the machine, and then a state. And essentially what we're going to do is make it so that when they go through a trigger zone, it's going to go. Okay, so what I did here is... This is just a temporary trigger zone, just so I can test it. And the uh, red pin is on enter. It switches to the next state. So see this one's off. And then so it just toggles between the two. So what I'll do is on enter, when they come up the ramp, it'll turn it on and it'll just kind of go around. And then I'll put another one over here. So when they go through it, it turns it off. Oh, cool. Yeah, there we go. Off and danger. <laughs> and then what you do is you take these three pins and we're going to wire to that one. Actually, I think we're only going to do two. So we're going to use red for on and off. So red to red and then green. We'll go to green here and that's the speed at which it rotates. And I'm going to aim for the middle of the rotation so that we kind of get an idea where uh, the center will be. You want to hit that trigger zone and see if it works? Yep, hitting it. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Awesome. We should test it. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. Now anything tagged car is what'll trip the wire to make it go. We should probably work on these walls a bit. Yeah. Ha! Perfect. Yeah. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> go ahead. Maybe I'll put some things like. Ooh, no, I know. Okay, here we go. All right, so this this guy right here. Should we make him move back and forth? Ooh, that's another idea. Yeah. Can you guess what chips we're going to use for this? State machine? A state machine. <laughs> I'm learning! <laughs> this is a good example of a state machine because it has two states, right? It's got left and it's got right. Whoop. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and then 
there's a, th a thing in here called time and state. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it slowed the blink down. So it's staying in one of these for half a second before it goes to the next one. <laughs> a little bit going? too far. Oh, gosh. And now that we got that working, we can just clone it. Oh, you can just clone all of this? We could do a bear on one of them. I like the, the bear's my favorite Ooh. one. Yes. <laughs> all right, I want to test it out. Did it go through it? <laughs> nope, it hit that one. <laughs> can you break these with the car? It'd just be cool. Darn it, you can't. <laughs> Darn it. Whoops. How about said we do buckets? Because buckets are better. <laughs> yep, those definitely get in your way. Which is good. That's what I wanted. What should we put in this whole huge area right here? I was thinking those buckets were kind of fun. More buckets? You could have two section, two area buckets, yeah. That's right. kind of why I left it big. Let's do one more gizmo trap. Okay. What do you think? What should it be? So, yeah, I think it'd be cool if the ground could pop up. Ooh. So we, so we can do two wedges. So it could either be a jump or it pushes them, but either way, it just comes up and gets them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Is this big enough? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's perfect. Let's leave it. Just kidding. <laughs> It'll crush some cars on the way down. All right, so now if your car comes through here and hits the trigger zone, it's going to pop up and stay up for five seconds. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we Why might want to rotate wall? that, so... Oh, let's just make this wall yeah, taller. Maybe... There we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> it's still good. All right, so it looks like we're done with our racetrack. How about we do a little tour? So how about you explain yeah. what we worked on? Okay. So we made a starting line, pretty cool little checker pattern, and some flags, and then we made these brick walls so that the cars will stay on the course. The course goes this way, so let's go down this road. As you come around the first corner, we got a whole bunch of cool buckets in the way. I love these buckets because they make some good noises. <laughs> okay, and then as we come around the back side of the race course, we've got a trigger zone here. Oh, I don't have a car to show you how it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, as the car goes through the trigger zone, we have a jump that pops up and gets in the way. And it really messes you up because you saw us when we hit the wall practice in it. And then as you're coming around this way, we've got this cool lava pit that you, you got drive through. And there's going to be lava that spins around it when someone jumps over it. But be careful going over this. Um, I'm going to go this way. You go that way so we don't burn ourselves. All right. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And then we come around this corner, a nice wide corner. And then our favorite, buckets again. Yes. Now we've got a really long straightaway and our bear's facing the wrong direction. So Should I fix that? Probably. And then when we come around in this corner, we've got a cool long straightaway. But you have to be careful. Beware the bear. He's going to get you. It'll get you. Ooh. And we've got my favorite pirate with a violin. I actually think it's a fiddle, but he says it's a violin. <laughs> and then we come back around to this side. And this is the jump. So when the RC car goes through the trigger zone, the lava turns on and tries to knock them off course, which I can show you. Should awesome. I go get the car? Yeah. Awesome. Wait, what if it stops like this and people are trying to get through here? What if it's just like always on? Ooh, that's true. Always on would be better. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. There you go. No circuits whatsoever. And then after our epic jump over the lava, we come around here to the home stretch, make it a quick right, and then bam, right through the finish line. All right, let's get this started. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my God, I'm hitting by the lava. Ah. Yeah. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> 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 yes, no. <laughs> ah. Move. <Ooh. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a close one. We like passed each other a whole bunch. All right, that's the whole obstacle course. Thank you guys so much for watching, and huge thank you to Redbeard for doing awesome yeah. stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
it looks amazing. Like this is actually a yeah, lot of fun. That was really fun. Yeah, yeah I want to make more of these. You guys should make your own obstacle <laughs> courses. Uh, publish them, upload them to YouTube, anything. Um, subscribe for more things Rec Room, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh.